Hi, today I am flying with Jeffrey. Uh, it's his first time on the channel. We started working on landings. I have one, really one landing lesson. So we're gonna work on that today. Uh, he's also had to start making radio calls, which he's a little apprehensive about. And that's not uncommon for uh, a new student, uh, especially in a uh, towered airport. Concord is a towered airport, and that's our home base. Now everybody thinks, well, you know, I don't want to mess up. I don't want ATC to get mad at me. And as, as a general rule, ATC is pretty accommodating. They know you're new. They're not going to really bust your chops. Every once in a while, a controller may be stressed out or very busy and may come down on you if you mess something up. But overall, they'll, they'll let you get by with quite a bit. So it just takes practice. And the big thing I, I tried to explain to Jeffrey about radio calls is they're, they're basically like a phone call. If I called you and said, hey, Jeffrey, this is Bruce. I'm down here at McDonald's. I'm going to come over to your house. That is exactly the same as the radio call you would make, the same format. So it's who you're calling. I was calling Jeffrey. Who, who I am. It's Bruce. Where am I? I'm at McDonald's. And what am I going to do? Those are the same elements you're going to do with a radio call. So for instance, here, we're going to have to get a taxi instruction, right? So we'd say, uh, who, who would we be calling? taxi. Be calling the ground to taxi. Right. So we'd say Concord Ground, that's who we're calling. We'd say who we are, which is I, I'm in 526 Delta. Right, and then we'd say where are we? Runway 20. Well, we're not at the runway yet, oh, yeah. right? We're on the ramp. So this is the north end of the ramp. So we could just tell them we're in the north run-up area. It would be fine. And we'll also add in that we have the weather, which is Bravo. And then it's just lastly, what do we want to do? Well, we're ready to taxi for a northeast departure. Okay, so we need to call now for our taxi clearance. So who are we going to call? We're going to call uh, ground. Okay, so let's set up our comms to get to ground. Um, one, right? Mike. Right. We'll click both of them. So uh, just press mic and watch what happens. Five, five, they four, both jump up five, there. 554 yeah. ground, runway two okay. zero. So taxi now we need alpha. to get the ground frequency to our active. Right now we're listening to tower. Because you can see it's green. So how do we get the ground frequency over there? All right, so this, right? Oh, that changes the radio for setting. We just want to move the frequency. Correct, to use the flip-flop button. Okay, that's it. Now, the reason it didn't change on him is a lot of times if there's only one controller up there, he will broadcast on ground and tower. Okay, so we're going to wait so we have an opening, and then what are we going to, what, what's our call going to be? Go ahead and give me a, a run through. I know like a good half of it, so it's like, Seven. it'll be uh, Concord Ground. Turn him off, just a sec, okay, okay. It'll be like uh, Concord Ground, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra, um, then we say where we are, right? Right. So we're on ground. Well, where are we on the ground? Not not uh, what frequency you're on, but where, where physically are you? Uh, we're on the uh, two zero runway. Oh, side. the runway's up there. What's this area called back here? That's this section. This is called the ramp. Ramp. Okay. Okay. And we're at the north end of it. The reason okay. we're he wants to know where we are so he can give us directions to go. So that's so yeah, you got it right. Concord Ground Diamond Five Two Six Delta Sierra is at the north ramp. North ramp. And what's our weather that we have? Oh, we have, I believe, Bravo. Okay. Bravo. That's who we're calling, who we are, where we are, and now we got to tell them what we want. What do we want to uh, do? Requesting departure. Oh, not yet. We have to uh, taxi. Requesting taxi. Right, so you tell them we're ready to taxi, and then we'll also tell them for a northeast departure. All right. And we know it's northeast. If we look at our CDI, see it's right in the middle, of north and east. We're on the north end ramp. We're on the north end ramp, and we'll be departing to the northeast. And we tell him that now so he knows how to sequence us for takeoff. All right, so it'd be like... Uh, Concord Ground, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra, the north end ramp, requesting the taxi, northeast departure. Right, you le left out one thing, the weather. Oh, with when Bravo. You, so when you yeah. tell them where you are, say with Bravo, Bravo, and the rest of it was fine. All right, speed. All right, so I'll turn you back on. Right. Okay. Concord Ground, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra, on a uh, north end ramp with Bravo, requesting departure northeast. Uh, ready to taxi for a northeast taxi, departure. Northeast departure. Right, there you go. Uh, I think I got this. Okay. All right. Concord Ground, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra, on north end ramp with Bravo, requesting taxi to departure northeast. That'll work. Diamond Star, 526 Delta Sierra, Concord Ground. Roger. 
Are you at the north ramp? Hey, Ferb, north ramp. Diamond Star 6 Delta Sierra, hold short of Alpha. Hold short of Alpha, 526 Delta Sierra. Okay. So uh, just go up to the hold short right. line, and we'll wait. I uh, say the north ramp, I swear. You, you said it right, but he just questioned. I jumped oh, okay. in just for expediency, but that's... Um, Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra, taxi behind the TBM on Alpha, runway 20 via Alpha Niner and Alpha. All right, we'll follow the TBM on Alpha to 20, Alpha Niner 526 Delta Sierra. All right, I jumped, track, I jumped in there for you, too, because that was uh, kind of a mouthful. Departure. But all he's telling us is to follow that guy. So that's the other part of the radio call. So you got the initial part, and then you have to repeat back what they tell you, uh, but you also have to comprehend it. Uh, Clear track 554, fly runway oh, wait, at your, runway 20, clear for takeoff. At your stage, sometimes that could be a bit overwhelming when he threw all that at you. But we're going to get you there. I got like the first half and then the second half. Of this. Oh, well, it's, it's baby steps, right? We'll get the initial call part down, and then we'll get more into the responses. Bonanza uh, 204 Whiskey, is that correct? All right, so I think I told you, too, there's a website. It's called, uh, I believe it's atclive.net. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you can go on there, and you can type in any airport in the country you want, and you can listen to radio calls. Um, so you could type in this airport would be a good one, since this is what we fly out of. And as you listen to this more and more, you'll start to see the pattern. It's They're all the same kind of pattern. Um, the responses might be a little different. But it's also a similar cadence um, that everybody talks in. So if you, the more you listen to it, the easier it is to, to discern what they're saying. Because uh, I know at first it sounds like they're just shooting out a whole mouthful at once at you. And you got to comprehend and repeat it back. All right, so this gives us a second. So we're going to pull up where the TBM is, and then what are we going to do with the radio? All right, so we're going to say contacting the ground will contact the tower. Right? All right, we'll swap it over to tower, and then what's our call going to be? Uh, Concord Tower, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra on the, or the north end. Oh, at this point, we're going to tell them we're holding short holding of 2 short. Zero, right? Those those lines up there in front of the red numbers, the two solids and the two dash, that's the hold short line. Holding short, 2 zero. Ready for departure. Ready for departure. Right. right. And his response will be, you know, either hold short or cleared for takeoff, 2 zero, left turn out on course. And you would just repeat that back. Cleared for takeoff two zero, left turn out on course is probably what he's going to do. Do you ever just say like Roger? No, no. I hear guys saying that. Uh, that's incorrect because here's why that's incorrect. He needs to be sure that you understood what he told you to do. Oh yeah, that's true. And if you just say Roger, he's not sure that you, and he'll stop you and say, "Wait a minute, read back what I told you." Okay, so you can head on up. And you can also change your radio over to tower now. Size click swap, right? All right. Right now, one, uh, two, zero. Okay, now you can call him. Concord Tower, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra, holding short, runway 20, ready for departure. Perfect. Diamond 526, Delta Sierra, Concord Tower, Roger. Hold short, runway 20, prep. All right, just repeat, hold short, 20. Crest. Hold short, 20. Uh, three mile right base, 20. Crest 302, traffic At. assessed, a short final on runway 20. Got two chopped, zero, you got stepped on, but you also put uh, your tail up right. But line that's fine. Diamond Star, 526 Delta Sierra, turn left on course, runway 20, clear for takeoff. Turn left on course. Uh, Diamond 526 Delta Sierra, turning left on course. Clear for takeoff 20, 526 Delta Sierra, left on course. Okay, you left off the whole clear for takeoff part. All right, so now while we have a minute, we need to set up our comms for Davidson. So how do we figure out we need ATIS and we need their CTAP? So how do we find those? I vaguely remember it's something on this screen, right? Uh, so turn to the waypoint chapter. Uh, how do I get there? Remember which one turns to chapters? The big knob. No. Just like you're, when you're checking your GPS. There you go. All right. So there it is, KEXX. That's Davidson. That's where we're going because it's already programmed in our direct two. And here's your frequencies. So in the bottom radio, COM2, so swap down to COM2. Oh, we don't want to listen. I want you to set it. So how do we change which radio we're, we're setting? All right, so we, it's up here, so we're going to... Career track 244 tower, fly runway heading for traffic, runway 20 clear for takeoff. This one, right? Well, I want you to look, right now, we're, COM1 is active, right? You see the little box there? How do we get it to come down to COM2? Press the button. Press the COM button. This one? Up. 
and there it goes, it swapped down. All right. And now I want you to put 119er.825. Rear track 630, straight in runway 20. Okay, now land. make it, switch it over to the active zero, side. Zero and track 630. All right, now jump back up to COM 1. Watch your altitude. Yeah, I'm trying to go down a little bit. All right, and in COM 1, we want 122.8. All right, so we can get ATIS, but we can also, if we look at our page we were just on, our waypoint page, if we press the WX button, that stands for weather, it's actually going to give us the weather. So the winds are 130 and 4 knots, and the altimeter is 3000. Alright, so on a, on a call to an untowered airport, a difference is we're going to sandwich the radio call with the airport name at the beginning and the end. And that's so if someone only hears part of our transmission, they come in midway, they can hear where we are at the end. Because as we're hearing, this frequency is covering a whole bunch of different airports around here. And what I'm going to tell them is I'll make the call for you. Uh, I'm going to tell them what I'm going to do first. I'm not going to say I'm coming in for a landing on 2-4. The first thing I'm going to do is what? I'm going to enter. Uh, say Davidson uh, Tower, right? No, it's not tower, it's just traffic, because there's no tower. They run, yeah, yeah, yeah. And 526 Delta Sierra is 9 to the uh, Wherever, southwest, right and we're going to enter a left downwind for 2-4. That's the first thing we're going to do. Davidson traffic 526 Delta Sierra is 9 to the southwest, we're going to left downwind 2-4, Davidson. You see how I bookended the call, and I didn't say where I'm landing. I, I'm going to tell them what I'm going to do next. The first thing I'm going to do is going to be getting that left downwind. Now, there's a couple things that people do that are not correct. Um, and the FAA is trying to get them to stop doing it. One of them is people will come in and instead of listening to the radio calls and find out what people are doing, they'll say, Dave, it's the traffic. Is 10 miles west of the field. Uh, so what I was saying is one call that people make is they'll say, Dave, it's the traffic. 526 Delta Sierra is 10 to the southwest. Any traffic in the area, please advise. In other words, they want you to report back to them. That's totally incorrect, and the FAA has said, don't do that. It's your job to listen and get a mental picture of where the traffic is. I have them report back to you. Yeah, he's he should be behind us. Okay. Davidson traffic, 526 Delta Sierra, left down with 24, dudes. All right. Davidson traffic, 526 Delta Sierra, turn left base 24, Davidson. Davidson traffic 526 Delta Sierra turn final 24 Davidson. Davidson traffic 526 Delta Sierra clear of 24 Davidson. All right, so while we got a minute, you can switch your comms back over to Concord. They're already in, in there. You just need to activate them. All right, and then go down and switch your ATIS. There you go. Okay. All right, so speaking of radio, at 10 miles out, we're going to call Concord for our clearance. How's that going to go? Uh, so it'll be Concord Tower, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra, 10 miles uh, northeast. With whatever weather with we come up with. Whatever the weather is, and then uh, entering downwind. Oh, we don't tell them, we just say we want to come in and land. So uh, inbound for landing. Inbound for landing. Right, and he'll, at a towered airport, they'll tell you where they want you to go. So it's a little bit different than an untowered airport. Concord Tower, Diamond 526 Delta Sierra, 10 miles northeast, inbound for landing with Charlie. Okay, excellent. 526 Delta Sierra, Concord, enter a left base for runway 20. Base for 20. Uh, base for 20. 526 Delta Sierra. 526 Delta Sierra. Okay, alright, so let's start descending. Okay. Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra, runway 20, clear to land. The wind is 2705. Clear to land 20, 526 Delta Sierra. Uh, uh, yeah. Clear to land 20526 Delta Sierra. Okay. That's copy off guard. That knows there. All right, now here. We'll just keep riding, right? We'll just... oh, she ballooned a little bit. Let her come down. All right, we'll hold the nose up. Down the brake. Okay. Star uh, 6 Delta Sierra, taxi Echo Alpha to the ram. Good day. Echo Alpha to the ramp, have a good day, 526 Delta Sierra.